Today, I'll show you how I was able to take an Xbox 360 camera and use it to scan my body, create a 3D model, print that model, and make an open source cast for bone breaks or splints or whatever you need. On this channel, you've seen me build a lot of different open source projects, such as the gas sensor for emergency workers to keep people safe, the urban kitchen garden project to grow some food, the Educase project, which uh, was designed for classroom anywhere. The long story short, the punchline from them is that I like doing projects to make the world better. And I always wanted to make an open source cast or do some more medical stuff. Well, this video is that. If you're interested in any of the other projects, I did a Without Borders series and they're all in their own areas inside our forum link down in the description. As usual with every project I share, it has its own GitHub repo and in the repo is the full instructions and as much detail as I could save as well as all the original scans and files from this project you're about to see. To scan our body parts, we're going to use an Xbox Connect 3D scanning capable camera system. If you have one of these with your Xbox 360 somewhere in your house, well, you're all set. If not, I'll link down below some sources where you can get one. I think you can also use your phone and just use uh, photographs to stitch them together into 3D models with various online sources and apps. Okay, for this we're going to use Skinect, the freeware version. The version number is in my GitHub repo. It's important that you use the same version as me uh, if you want this to work as you're seeing in this video. It's really important that you put the prerequisite SDK on your PC that matches the version number as well. Okay, well this program is going to take the image from our camera and save it into a 3D object. So I kind of just messed around with it until I found something that worked and what worked was me sitting in my office chair and slowly rotating around and it was able to capture the full 3D image of my arm. Uh, it did surprisingly well considering my arm is moving closer and further away from the camera so this program is pretty forgiving. I was impressed. This episode brought to you in part by PCBWay. Check them out at the link below for your next electronics project. They offer competitive rates for all PCBs, parts, and assembly, as well as 24-7 tracking of your order from start to finish. And when it's done, we're left with a full, kind of little bit blotchy, but functional 3D object that's perfectly scaled the same size as my arm itself. This is going to enable us to make, a, in this case, our cast, but in other cases, you could make a prosthetic that fits uh, the limb perfectly or lots of other options. Pretty neat. Pull our object into Mesh Mixer. This is another free program that you're going to need to download to work with the file. There are others that you could use, but Mesh Mixer really works good because we're going to use this to actually generate the pattern to uh, open up our cast so that air can get at our arm and uh, just make it look pretty neat. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do some plain cuts. These cuts are going to remove all the extraneous surface that we don't need. This part is a little non-intuitive in the program, so you just have to mess around until you get the, the plane on the angle that you want, and then push-pull it so that it cuts your model in the desired area. So long story short, we want the fingers and the hand portion off, and then the upper arm up near the elbow we're going to get rid of. It's a fight against the gods. I find it helpful to save the file at different states depending on where I'm at. That way I can always go back and start over from that point. Uh, sometimes you're going to want to do different models of it, different spacing, different sizing, different detail. So it's helpful to have those save states. We align our model to the origin and then we resize the reduce the target sizing according to the instructions I've linked below. That way we're going to not have nearly so many bazillions of points for it to work with. It's a lot of polygons in this model. 
From here, we're going to go edit. And we're going to adjust the pattern. It's up to you what pattern you desire. I put my information down below and as well shown here, but there, this is what's going to actually give us our, our spacing, our air holes and our structure to our cast. Uh, it's entirely up to you. You'll notice at the end, we have a one piece cast and obviously that's not going to work for putting onto our hand and arm. We need a way to split this and I'm not sure how to do that. And I gave up trying in favor of just putting this video out there and hopefully one of you out there will post down in the comments below and help me out. How can we split this in a way that it makes it, uh, we can put it on and off an arm um, and then fasten it up with like Velcro or even glue it, I'm, I'm open to either. Ultimately, just adjust the patterns and the smoothing and the effects till you get something that you like to work with and then we can go ahead to the next step. When it's done, we're left with a pretty cool model. This is uh, standing on the build plate or what will be the build plate. We've got solid ends and something that resembles an arm. Pretty cool. Like I said before, the only thing we're missing is the ability to split it into multiple pieces. One more important step, we export our mesh and Mesh Mixer comes up with an error telling us we have a manifold problem. This is something that's easiest to deal with right now. Uh, we could do it later with like a NetFab or something, but we want to analyze the model and fix this problem. And you'll see it recognizes right away where the problem is and we can just tell it, just go ahead and fix that for us. And sure enough, it does the job and we're able to export our model, no problem. I've gone ahead and imported our model, our STL, into Cura. Uh, as usual, I'll link all my Cura settings down below. This is uh, going to be printed on the CR10. Uh, the CR10 is my larger printer, so lots of room, lots of height for this. We should be in pretty good shape with the brim added for the bottom so it adheres to the print bed really well. We'll go ahead and slice it using the settings here that you can find in my GitHub and let it print. And sure enough, the CR10 is chugging away and our model is looking fantastic in Amaze 3D Red PLA. Love this filament, love the Amaze 3D stuff. I've had really good luck with it. And this, uh, this model prints out pretty well. We'll let it go. And this is what we end up with. I am super happy with this model. This is a wonderful 100% representation of my arm. It's perfectly scaled, came out nice and smooth, and it should work. In this case, I can go ahead and cut this one apart, just slice it open on one side and then glue it back together with super glue onto my arm if I did have a broken arm. Or we can continue on in the future with uh, hopefully one of you guys will come up with a way to split it in the model phase that allows it to easily go back together. But uh, this video was just intended to share with you uh, the method that I used with just stuff I already had in my house, the, uh, the Xbox 360 camera and able to manufacture prosthetic devices at home with a 3D printer. I am not the first to do this at all. Lots of other people have posted online, have websites and offer information on this, but in my experience, they're almost all payware. I had a struggle of a time finding the information in the open source realm. It seems that a lot of people have gone into making their own companies and their own closed source stuff out of this. Instead of uh, releasing the methods open, they've closed it up and chose to make some money from it. Well, that's fine, but my video here is everything wide open for you guys to go ahead and take this forward, make it better, make it your own, share it back. Cheers, guys. Good luck in all your projects. Let me know if you make one of these.